Yeah. We in war, ladies and gentlemen. We at war. Jordan Peterson's banned from Twitter for comments he made against Elliot Page, formerly known as Ellen Page, movie actress, LGBTQK, whatever it is this week, um, advocate. I'm Brother Keith. This is Hold the Line. I just want to go over some some disheartening news that I see on our news feeds. If you look at the news feeds, you know, in the morning, go through Google News Feed every morning and, and look at the content that's available for you to ingest. Stuff that they're making news. You know, they had that story on Jordan Peterson, of course. And then as I'm strolling down, Elizabeth Hurley, see her in another bikini. Of course, that's on there. Then as I'm going, I see Mark Wahlberg's 18-year-old daughter in a jaw-dropping bikini. You know, all these, all this stuff to gaslight a young mind into looking at somebody in a bikini. We're so sexualized. Everything's just overly sexualized. The, 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 the depravity of man. You know, as I'm scrolling through, nothing with substance on there. Nothing that is truly news on there. Another story about Tupac. They're not done kicking that horse yet. And every rapper you could think of. Rappers I've never even heard of. Th this, that, about them. Their beef with so-and-so. Their beef with that. You know, Cardi B, news on her. And it's just like, how are these people making news? You know, people want to hear all of this schmutt and all this stuff that's not edifying. And you can't get a story to give you both sides of the spectrum. A, per a young person's going to get a story like this story right here. As I'm strolling through, Ethan Hawke and Emma uh, Thurman from Pulp Fiction... I didn't know they had a child together. And I guess she's in a, a Netflix uh, movie, The Umbrella Thing or whatever that is. She's in that in that show with the uh, uh, Ellen, um, Ellen White girl. So she's on there talking about her mom's abortion. Because CNN, everything they're reporting on now is how women are no longer going to get health care. Women's rights are slowly getting taken away when abortion's not abolished. It's up to the states now. So now in California and in New York, they're going to up the ante. You're probably going to be able to abort a baby after it's already born if they're not already doing that. I've heard some stories about up to uh, uh, up to a certain amount. I, I, I don't know how I don't know how true these stories are, but after the baby's born, actually being able to kill the child. But health care has not gone anywhere. There's not one right a woman has lost, except it's up to the state now to either ban abortion, it can in that state, to where somebody's now, you want to uh, kill your child for no good reason than for you to live a, a, a more self-consumed life than you already have. You're going to have to travel to another state to do that. So I'm looking at this story of... Uma Thurman and, and Ethan Hawke's daughter, who I can't remember what her name is, but she's telling the story about how she was so, she's so glad that her mom had an abortion when she was very young so that she could pursue her movie career and become who she became. And, you know, I, I'm just like, do you hear this, this, this diarrhea coming out of this woman's mouth? And I think it was on either Jimmy Kimmel or, or one of the night, night shows. And she's talking about how she's so, so happy that her mom had that abortion because she wouldn't be the woman that, 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 that she is today. Self-consumed, worshiper of self, no care for a human being. Your mother is going to pay for that. If you kill the child in the womb without repentance, without sorrow, you are going to be held accountable for that. That's what they don't want to hear. That's what they don't want to accept. But the day will come when you're dead and gone, your soul will remain and you will have to account. That's a fact. There's some truth. 
They don't want to broadcast. They don't want to hear. They'll probably shadow ban this video because of me talking about that. You know, and, and it's just disheartening as you go through these news feeds and look at the look at the disgustingness of of the world today that we're living in. But the Bible told us this is going to happen. This is truly America is truly Babylon, you know. And Jordan Jordan Peterson's tweet was about pride being a sin. And pride is a sin. God hates pride. A prideful person cannot inherit the kingdom of God. And people are just filled with pride, puffed up with deceit. It's a Romans chapter. Read Romans chapter 1 to, to 3, and you're going to see exactly what the world is today. People that have been given... Gone, people that have been given over to their own lust of their whole minds of their own minds given up to their own passions men seeking love with men women seeking love with women and being held accountable for their error <laughs> as Paul says you know so we got to keep doing what we're doing we got to keep making these Christian videos. We got to keep proclaiming truth. We got to hold the line. Good segue for that. We got to continue, y'all, because if we don't do it, ain't nobody going to do it. These kids are being, the kids today are being, um, I forgot what the term is. The kids today are being, what's that term, man? I can't remember the term, man. I'm having a brain fart right now. But grace and peace to the next video. Hold the line. Yeah. We in war, ladies and gentlemen. We at war.